We are sitting on a little tiny island at the extreme northwest end of Kwajalein Atoll. The island is called Abadon. On this island, the temperature never varies very much. It goes from about a high of 85 in the day to a low of about 80 Fahrenheit at night. Um, that means that the whole time we're working here from sunup to sundown and beyond, it's in the 80s. It's also the monsoon season, which is why I'm dripping, Dan's dripping, you're dripping. Um, and the result is people are being very careful about rotating in their positions so that we distribute the workload pretty evenly. Nobody gets exhausted. Nobody gets a dehydrated. The Marshallese have been great to make sure that we have the most comfortable existence we can have on this build site that is completely exposed to a bright tropical sun. started at about 6.30 this morning. We're doing well, we're on schedule, and uh, can't say enough about the Marshallese, their help, and especially the two cadets we have here from the Coast Guard Academy. What we're doing here is we're going to make lime so that we can whitewash the outside of the climate research station. And we're doing a test of burning down coral and burning down seashells to see if there's a difference in the calcium that we're going to get from those two sources. I am 69 years old, born in Andibai, and raised here on Ebadan. We play on the beach, we go out fishing with our grandfathers, we climb the trees, get coconuts, 
considering all the changes that are happening on our lagoon, the beach is watching in. It's coming in. And there were there were times that I was on the island that the the waves has come in, come through here. I'm scared, yes. I'm very scared. Because today there is a lot of things happening. It's basically the climate change. Including that. These days, these are the last days of the earth. According to my beliefs, there's a lot of bad things happening nowadays, including uh, climate change. Very soon, when they decided to go against each other, the world just collapsed. That's what I believe. here on this absolutely gorgeous island called Ebidon, about 75 miles from the capital of Kwajalein Atoll, Ibai. He came up here on a small boat trying to get out of Honolulu to Ibai. The uh, airlines started canceling all over the place. We lost an entire week of our build schedule. We're close to being on schedule. We're trying to catch up. But the citizens, the people of Ebidon, have just stepped in gloriously and we're getting it done. What do you think? I don't know what to think. <laughs> this is amazing. Very amazing, you know? I never thought that we could build houses with foam. <laughs> the first time when I saw you guys working on this, I said, what the hell is this? <laughs> but now, Everything changes. back there and myself want to thank you thank you and thank Hafid thank you for uh, spending your valuable time with us this is to show the world that the Marshall Islands while you're taking the brunt of this climate change crisis that affects everybody you're the first ones to be affected the most by it and you are showing everybody that this is worth saving. Thank you for believing in me and in yourselves and in this project. We hope it's the first of many. 
So thank you.